have become canals. But first, unthinkable tragedy. Police say a suburban mom killed her children, then took her own life. Welcome back. I'm Jeff Hurley. And I'm Dawn Hasbrook. We have Chicago's big stories this half hour. Our team coverage begins with Elizabeth Matthews and heartbreak in the suburbs. City officials are calling this a tragedy. Neighbors in this Juliet neighborhood are stunned. Juliet police investigating this as an apparent double homicide suicide. A 41-year-old mother, her two twin girls, only five years old, dead from gunshot wounds. Now, the autopsies were completed this afternoon, and they show 41-year-old Salisa Henning died from a single gunshot wound to the head. Her two twin daughters, five years old, Addison and Michaela, died each from multiple gunshot wounds to the head. Juliet police say the husband, father, found his family yesterday yesterday afternoon immediately called police. First responders rushed to the home in the 400 block of North Reed Street and the three family members were pronounced dead around 6.30 last night. Police say a small caliber handgun was recovered on scene. Both adults in the home have FOID cards. Officers have not been called to the home in the past and are still investigating what went wrong inside this Juliet home. Now outside the home, a memorial is growing for the family. Neighbors say they didn't know of any problems and they're stunned by this tragedy. The most important concern right now is um, the dad and the family and getting them through. And we're here, and I hope he knows we're here in whatever capacity he needs. Neighbors described the girls as happy. They had just started kindergarten last week at the St. Paul the Apostle Catholic School. We're told that the two twin girls, five years old, would have turned six in October. Live in Juliet, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32 News. I'm Larry Yellen on the live desk. A Chicago teen who met with Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg this summer has been murdered. 16-year-old Theotis Luckett was shot over the weekend. Luckett was selected to talk with Zuckerberg because he was part of a program for troubled teens turning their lives around. Cook County Commissioner Richard Boykin was also part of that program. Boykin posted his condolences on Facebook and asked how many more young people must die for government to take the issue of violence seriously. And now for the 